Well, diggity dang. Look at that, gentlemen. Oh, boy. Okay, this is a Purism Librem 5 Birch Batch phone. <laughs> I have it in my hands at my own freaking house. And interestingly, if you look at the back, it says 20. This is the 20th of the Birch Batch. Uh, I'm a little sweaty. That's why there's like this stuff on it. I'm like very excited to get my hands on this. And when I'm excited, I sweat, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm like really trying to contain my excitement right now. Let's, uh, let's open this puppy up. Now, full disclosure, they actually sent this to me. This is a review unit, but they said if I like it, I can keep it instead of the evergreen that I was <sighs> promised. All right, we have the quick start guide. Uh, this is immediately, uh, I'm noticing this is different packaging than the packaging that I saw um, when I was meeting with Todd. Battery is installed, tray for nano SIM and micro SD cards are removable, USB type A to C cable and a wall power adapter. If any of these are missing, contact Purism. Um, cool. Unlock the screen. The existing passcode is one, two, three, four, five, six. The application starts with a welcome screen. Dude, this is more documentation than you typically get. <laughs> Let's, are we focused on this? There we go. All right. Um, dude, this is amazing. Okay, so I want to get right into the phone because this device, oh, interesting. So it's in a little, before we get to the device, let's actually, oh, it comes with headphones, dude. Dude, it actually comes with headphones. Okay, and they have the five, uh, the, the four uh, connector. Wow. I did not expect it to come with headphones. It probably said it in that book, but that's pretty cool. Dang, dude. Okay. A volume control and headphones. Okay. I wonder if, oh, this is USB micro, uh, USB C to C. In here, it says USB A to C. Interesting, okay. And this power brick, I'm, that's the battery. It said it would be in, uh, installed, which it's not, but that's okay. There, this is beta stuff here. And this is a Type-C power adapter. Okay, what, what is this rated at? Five volts, 12. Uh, output from five volts, 30, uh, 3,000 milliamp hour to nine volts, 2,000 milliamp hour to 12 volts, 1,500 milliamp hour. All right, or I guess not amp hours, it's just milliamps. Okay, QQ, very cool. So uh, that's everything here. Let's put these off to the side. Um, oh, and it comes with this thingy to open the SIM tray. That's pretty awesome. It's gonna come in handy because I always have to like bend a paper clip to open my SIM tray. All right, so let's clean up a little bit and get these organized. What is this? This is a 2000 milliamp hour battery. So it's not the full 3500 milliamp hour that they said. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, let's zoom, uh, autofocus on that. Probably should, probably can see that. So this is 2000 amp, a milliamp hour. I think the final version is going to come with the uh, 3500 or whatever they rated on the website. If I remember correctly, Sean, their marketing guy said that it is going to come with a full size battery in the final product. All right, now let's remove this. This is actually pretty snug in here and I don't want to ruin the packaging. Oh, come on, oh, come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, hey, 
so the back isn't on. Okay, so here's the back. Here's the battery. And I don't know if you guys remember this, but back in the day, that used to be all you needed to do to remove the battery, is take the back off and snug it in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Screen shield. Please peel it off. Okay. Oh, it comes with a screen shield already on it. And it looks like the device is actually booting up. Hey, look at that. Okay. Dude, it came with a screen shield. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I, I'm just, I'm gonna take this off because it's in the way. Dude. Heck yes. Heck yes. Oh, the screen looks freaking phenomenal, guys. This, this screen is absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna zoom in on this thing. Okay. Uh, we're in uh, English. And then we'll click next. Whoops. Typing, English, next. Wi-Fi network. Uh, I'm gonna set this one up. There's for blam. All right. We don't want location services. Um, I will enable automatic problem reporting because you know what? I'm a nice guy. Uh, we're going to log into my next cloud here. But we will set that up in a hot second. Hey, this is Future Gardener here. I'm really sorry I didn't get this out sooner to you guys. Now, I didn't end up getting the uh, 4G working because track phone is a little bit weird. Uh, they say that it should work and I'm working with them to get it set up. I just haven't had a lot of time to actually get this done. So the guys at Purism are very helpful with their uh, support. Um, and I've had a couple technical issues, but at the moment, uh, I should be able to get uh, 4G set up pretty soon and be able to get you guys more content. So stay tuned for that. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support this show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon. You can also pick up a t-shirt. There's a link in the description, but no matter what you do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And as always, thanks for watching.